Hey everybody, today we are checking out the Torpedo Captor. I know a lot of you guys have been asking about this and it is finally here. For those who don't know what it is, it's kind of like a Mesa Cab Clone, except it doesn't suck. It's got an analog speaker sim like the Cab Clone, but it's also a load box, an attenuator, and a direct interface from your amp speaker out into your DAW. What this means is if you're into recording tube amps and you want to record silently, this will allow you to crank your amp up and use cabinet impulses instead of miking up a real cabinet. And this opens up a whole new world of guitar tone options for your projects. Now this was by far my favorite feature of the Two Notes Torpedo Live, which retailed for about a thousand bucks. And now those features are available as a desktop unit for only two US. So checking out the back panel, there's the input where you hook up your amp speaker out. There's two outputs, the through, which is just a straight pass through, and the attenuated out, which cuts 20 dBs off your output. Now this is a great feature if you wanna practice at home and live in an area where a cranked amp isn't an option, yet you still want that cranked amp sound. Plug in here and away you go. On the front, there's an output knob for controlling level, a phase button, speaker sim switch, line output, ground lift, XLR output that will accept phantom power and a power supply input. Now where I'll use this is if I want to record my amps silently. There are a ton of really great speaker impulses out there, like the Two Notes Torpedo Wall of Sound that I detailed a few years ago. Here's a link right here. Or the Rosen Digital Impulses. Now to help me out on this demo, I brought in my good friend Cam Flurry on the drums and a very special guest. You might have seen him playing Knotfest or opening up for Children of Bodom earlier this year from the band Oni. It's Mr. Brandon White. For this clip, we use my Rev Generator 120 Mark II directly into the captor. The amp was cranked and yet still silent. From the captor, we went into a Great River MP to NV and into an angle cabinet impulse courtesy Rosen Digital. Check it out. You know, I gotta say, this little box is a lot of fun. If you're in an apartment or dorm, you might wanna take a serious look at this thing. It's definitely an extremely helpful tool. Now, I'm not a gigantic fan of analog speaker sims. In my opinion, they go from not so great to just plain fucking awful. And while the speaker sim on this is okay, I doubt I'd ever record it. However, if you flip the switch over to bass, things get kind of interesting. Not sure if I'd ever put that on a record, but it sure is a lot of fun. You can check out the captor at twonotes.com. The link is in the description below.